This seminar covers multiplexing and sampling theory with detailed discussions of the advantages of multiplexing and fundamental concepts. First, let's take a look at sample data systems. An ideal data acquisition system uses a single ADC for each measurement channel. In this way, all data are captured in parallel and events in each channel can be compared in real time. But using a multiplexer that switches among the inputs of multiple channels and drives a single ADC can substantially reduce the cost of a system. This approach is used in what's called sampled data systems. The higher the sample rate, the closer the system mimics the ideal data acquisition system. But only a few specialized data acquisition systems require sample rates of extraordinary speed. Most applications can cope with the more modest sample rates typically offered by mainstream data acquisition systems. A multiplexer is an array of solid state switches or electromechanical relays connected to several input channels. Although both approaches are used in a wide variety of applications, neither one is perfect. Each type comes with various advantages and disadvantages. Electromechanical relays, for example, are relatively slow, about 1 kilohertz or less for the fastest read relays. But they can handle large input voltages, and some can isolate several thousand volts. A relay's size and contact type determine its current carrying capacity. For instance, laboratory instrument relays typically switch up to 3 amps, while industrial applications use larger relays to switch higher currents, often 5 to 10 amps. Solid-state switches, on the other hand, are much faster than relays and reach speeds of several megahertz. However, these devices can't handle inputs higher than about 25 volts, and they are not well suited for isolated applications. Moreover, solid-state devices are typically limited to handling currents of only 1 milliamp or less. Another characteristic that varies between mechanical relays and solid-state switches is called on-resistance. An ideal mechanical switch or relay contact pair has zero on-resistance. But real devices such as common re relay contacts are 10 milliohms or less. A quality analog switch can be 10 to 100 ohms and an analog multiplexer can be 100 to 2500 ohms per channel. The on resistance adds directly to the signal source impedance and can affect the system's measurement accuracy if not compensated. Analog switching devices have another undesirable characteristic called charge injection. This means that a small portion of input gate drive voltage is coupled to the analog input signal and manifests as a spike in the output signal. This glitch produces measurement errors and can be seen riding on the input signal when the source impedance is too high. A compensating circuit can minimize the effects of charge injection, but the most effective method is to keep source impedance as low as possible to prevent it from developing in the first place. Channel-to-channel -channel crosstalk is another non-ideal characteristic of analog switching networks, especially integrated circuit multiplexers. Crosstalk develops where the voltage applied to any one channel affects the accuracy of the reading in another channel. Conditions are optimum for crosstalk when signals of relatively high frequency and high magnitude, such as 4 to 5 volt signals, are connected to one channel, while 100 millivolt signals are connected to an adjacent channel. High frequency multiplexing also aggravates crosstalk because the signals couple through a small capacitance between switch channels. Low source impedance minimizes the crosstalk and eliminates the charge injection. Multiplexing reduces the rate at which data can be acquired from an individual channel because of the time sharing strategy between channels. For example, an ADC that can sample a single channel at 100 kilohertz is limited to a 12.5 kilohertz per channel sampling rate when measuring eight channels. Unfortunately, multiplexing can introduce yet other problems. For instance, the multiplexer's high source impedance can combine with stray capacitance to increase settling time and generate crosstalk between channels. 
Multiplexer impedance itself also can degrade signals. A solid-state multiplexer with an impedance of tens or hundreds of ohms is worse than a relay with a typical resistance of 10 milliohms or less. In spite of these negative issues, the advantages of multiplexing outweighs its disadvantages, and it has become a widely used technique to minimize cost without compromising performance. Because the measurement errors are known and specified, they can be compensated at each stage of the data acquisition system to ensure high accuracy at the output. To view the remainder of this tutorial, please visit the on-demand tutorials in the resources section on Measurement Computing's website at www.mccdac.com.